Why sound design is more important than a video intro? If you are serious about sound design and storytelling, stick around because we are diving into the psychology of sound. How it manipulates emotion and some juicy primer pro tips to take your audio game to the next level. Hey creators, before we get into nerdy today, this video is proudly sponsored by Artlist, your go-to platform for high-quality music and sound effects that won't get you into copyright trouble. Everything you see and hear in today's demo is straight from Artlist. Ever wondered why a simple whoosh or a low drone can make your heart race? That because sound triggers emotion faster than the visuals. Studies show certain frequency like sub bass, rumbles or sharp high pitch tones activate our limbic system, the part of the brain that processes fear, anticipation and even nostalgia. Let me play two short clip. Same footage, different music, totally different vibe. Sound isn't just part of your video, it's the soul. Now let's talk about the types of sound effects for storytelling. Let's break it down into four key types of sound effects that trigger emotion. The first one is diegetic, the sounds your character can hear, that is footsteps, door opening sound or the whispers. Number two is non-diegetic sound, the sound that only viewer can hear, the tension, the drone sound, etc. So when the actor is acting, they are not hearing those sounds. Those sounds are added for the audience so that the audience can feel the environment when they are watching the video. Now the number three that is transitional sound effect that is swishes, pushes, riser that use to make the transition. When you are seeing any transition on a video, you might have heard some sound effect along with that transition. Those are the transitional sound effects. And the last but not the least that is textural sound effects, the ambience layer. Wind, rain, city humps, they are the mood sitters. So the examples that you have just watched, all of them are collected from Artlist. Artlist has their own video library, sound effect library and audio, I mean music libraries. So you can download whatever you need for your project. Though you don't need a massive library, but you just need the right sound at the right moment. Artlist give you that flexibility. You can search your music by genre, mood, video theme, instrument, or you can just search the name that is roaming around your mind. They have a magic button that is similar songs. If you just click on that button, you will get several similar song options. I use that all the time. If you have an Artlist Max plan, then you will get music, footages, sound effects, AI voiceover, AI image and video, templates, alerts, and many more. Click the first link in the description to try art list. And if you use my affiliate link, then you'll get two extra month when you purchase their yearly plan. Let's talk about some Premiere Pro tips for sound design. Here are three nerdy sound design tricks inside Adobe Premiere Pro. The first one is automate volume with keyframes. Duck your music under dialogue or build tension slowly. You can duck the music automatically using a feature in Adobe Premiere Pro, but I really like the keyframing feature that will give you more control. The second tip is about layer ambience. Don't settle for one background look. Mix forest, rain, and distance thunder to make it more impressive. The next tip is using audio track mixer effect. Apply reverb, EQ and compression directly on the audio track, not on the clip for non-destructive global changes. So whenever you are pulling any sound effect on the track, it will automatically apply those compression or reverb that you have added on the track. So usually I keep a separate track with applying those effects. So whenever I need to add echo or compression to any sound effect, I can directly place that sound effect on that track. Now the bonus tip that I create is silent track a blank audio track to insert silence between the scenes and increase the tension. Sometimes silence is your best sound effect. So whether you are making a horror, a cinematic vlog or a simple story time, 
sound what makes it hit hard with at least massive library of high quality music and sound effects that are searchable by mood you can turn any edit into a pro level production you can use artlist plugin for adobe premiere pro to directly download their music sound effect or footage in adobe premiere pro also their subscription is very affordable no matter if you're a solo creator or a freelancer that covered it all try it yourself link in the description below